So, are you ready to learn how to make and can quick and easy, straight to the point, strawberry jam? So hey guys, I am finally making some strawberry jam. This is gonna be just some highlight points about canning. When people start to learn how to can, I always recommend they learn how to water bath. Uh, and some of the easiest things for them to start with are simple jams like strawberry or peach, or in the fall when you wanna make maybe pear or apple butter. Pickles are easy too, but honestly, this is, the, this is about as easy as it gets. Now, let me give you a few quick tips on the strawberries. Every, you know, folks do it differently, that's fine. So let me show you what I do. Okay, so just to say, when I have a strawberry, I like to cap them, which means I take off the green part and I take off as little as possible, okay? Because I want to keep as much of the white or the pith right there with the strawberry as possible. And then I just cut them into fourths, no big deal. Right now, what I'm doing is I am just trying to get them going with some heat and I'm simply going to be adding um, some sugar. Now, I am not gonna be going by a specific recipe here. Some people use a lot of sugar. Some people use very little sugar. Some people don't use sugar at all. Some people choose honey. It's up to you. So find a recipe that works for you. Uh, so I'm going to be adding sugar. You can see it's getting hot. I do not add water. It's typically not necessary. I like my strawberry jam very chunky, very thick. Uh, as much as possible. So that is what we're going for here. So I'm simply going to be taking the potato masher and I'm gonna be mashing it up and I'm gonna be adding the sugar. If I need to add a little bit of water, I will, but a lot of times you don't. So basically we're just gonna be just mashing it, adding sugar and jamming it up. That's the first step that we're going for. So you can see here, it's starting to get hot and I'm smashing it up just like you would your uh, mashed potatoes. And I'm going to be adding lemon juice at this point with the sugar, okay? Um, a lot of recipes, depending on amounts, will call for about a fourth of a cup. I'm gonna go for about a half, a little bit more to try to help it set. That helps set the jam. And I'm gonna be adding, I'm gonna start with four cups of sugar, which that may be a lot for you, but I think that's gonna be a good start. And I'm just gonna to continue to work this. And then of course, we're gonna be water bathing, like I said, your strawberry jam. This is why this is so easy. Some people add extra pectin. I probably won't. I'm just wanting to get this done today. Um, I've, done, I've done it both ways, it's each their own. Okay, y'all, y'all do what you want. Sure gel or whatever, however you wanna do it. Now I'm not making jelly, I'm just making jam. And like I said, I like thick, chunky, brass monkey jam. Okay, so we're gonna turn the heat up. I'm gonna keep mashing, and we're going to be bringing this to a roll, high boil, okay? That's what we're gonna be doing to get everything to mesh together once you have everything in place. I'm just gonna continue to mash. You may use something else to do this. I just find this to be, you know what? It's really therapeutic. <laughs> a little old fashioned, but hey, it works in the end. All right, so I know it's kind of steamy, might be hard to see, but do you see how it is beginning to foam? Some people don't care about foam uh, in their jams or whatever. I mean, you know, if they're not competing in the, the, the Tennessee Valley Fair, we don't care. Some people like to skim the foam and put it in milk, make strawberry milk. Don't waste it, that's for sure, if you want to skim it off. But I'll tell you, what helps with the foam on your jams is adding real butter. Add a pat of butter, it minimizes the foam. Plop. Okay, so you can see it does help, the butter does help bring down some of the foam. I'm gonna skim what we've got because Gabriel loves it. 
So I'm gonna skim a couple of good scoops of the actual foam off. We've got our canning jars. I'm gonna be using pints. I don't, if you're gonna, to me, if I'm gonna be canning, I like to make pints because we go through this once a jar is opened. We go through this, whoo, really fast. So a pint makes more sense. So we're gonna be do, doing simple water bath with the pints. And uh, there's, you can see, I'm gonna get that yummy, yummy foam. Let's get it. Okay, we are ready to go into the water bath. I'm gonna set them up on top of the rack for a minute and then submerge them. We gotta move fast because everything is hot, okay? Everything. So we got seven pints, exactly. You're gonna have one fourth of headspace on your jams, okay? So we did that, got that all correct. And then we cleaned the rim with the white vinegar with a clean cloth, added the actual flats or the lids as we call them, your clean rings, and we are ready to roll. We gotta get rocking and rolling. You are going to water bath these once it gets rolling at for 10 minutes, okay? That's what, for my altitude, 10 minutes. Let's rock and roll, people. Just a special note, I had to add a little bit of water because once I finally got the uh, pint jars submerged in the water, I needed a little bit more. You need the water to be an inch over the jars. So they're about to start boiling up. And from that point, once we get comfortable and we have our right temperature going, we will go for the 10 minute mark. And then I will turn off the oven, excuse me, the stove top, not the oven. I will turn it off. And then what I do is just wait a minute and then I'll pull my jars up, just let them sit. I don't just yank them out of the canner. They kind of have to adapt to the temperature. So let's put the lid back on and get rolling. All right, here we are just a couple of hours later. The jars are warm, but they are not hot, so I can pick it up. So what I'm gonna do is let these jars, these beautiful jars sit, all seven pints sealed. I'm gonna let them sit till tomorrow, just let them rest. Then I will remove the ring, clean up the jar if I need to, just wipe around real easy. And then I will actually store the rings separately after I wash them. You know, I do not leave rings on my jars. If you watch my videos, I, I don't do that. Now, if you were to re-gift something that you can, like anything, this apple butter, this is great for Christmas gifts. Oh, in December, this is wonderful. Um, you want to put the ring back on because you're going to be giving it, gifting it, uh, transporting it. But for general storage in the pantry, take the rings off, okay? So you can avoid the potentials of having any false seals or any issues, okay? but these did beautiful. This has to be one of the best batches I've made in a long time. Gabriel was a little upset that he couldn't have a little bit extra. <laughs> Every bit of it went into the pints. So if you're looking to can, if you've never canned, like I said, start with water bathing. And right now the easiest thing to, to get into is clearly gonna be strawberries. Tomatoes are easy, pickles are easy. If you pickle any, like dilly beans or whatever, it's easy. Peaches are good. But the quickest, easiest thing, in my personal opinion, is strawberry jam because you can just whip these strawberries up and get going, okay? If you were to start in the fall, obviously your butters are gonna be something that I recommend, such as your apple butter or your pear butter. That won't happen till more like September into October around here, and it's divine too, but nothing beats strawberry jam. All right, guys, we appreciate you watching. This is just a quick and easy video. There's a lot of tutorials and, a, and wonderful blogs on how to can your basic items such as strawberry jam, but we appreciate you being here. I got it done. We walked through it. Hope you're feeling good. Hope you're busy. I know you're tired. It's a very stressful time and we're making the best out of it by staying very, very busy. I'm also going to attach um, some pictures and some uh, film that we took yesterday. We took a couple hours off and went to Martin Station in Virginia, in Ewing, Virginia, and just saw friends and went to a wonderful reenactment, uh, you know, and took some classes. So it was fun. So if you see that sprinkled in here, I'm not sure where I'm going to put it in the video. Um, hope you enjoy it and be sure to check out Martin Station. All right, let's get busy with something else. We appreciate you. Like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, share this video. We certainly appreciate you being here. Y'all take care. We'll see you on the next video.